It's a bird. It's a plane. Nah. It's Ruben Hurricane Carter, the most handsome middleweight villain there ever was. He's that fighter with the Mandarin mustache, skull shaven head, rippling muscles, dark as night complexion, and two piercing eyes with a glare that was cold as ice. In the most racially tense era in America, who sparked fear in the hearts of demons. Joey Giardello, the champion of the world, the Italian, a veteran of 16 years of boxing professionally, was asked what he thought of the rude before the fight. He said nothing, no thoughts, but after the bout, he'd give Hurricane his proper respect, and that he knew he faced a tough fighter that night. Rube would be told that he'd have to bust Giardello up bad to beat him because he couldn't outbox him. Hurricane would have to knock Giardello out. Ruben wanted to win badly but couldn't find it in himself to apply himself to train hard enough to become champion, let alone champion material being the rough and rugged slugger he was. White America couldn't accept this man. A lonely, traumatized, and outcasted Hurricane would be demanded to shave his beard for the fight. Ruben claimed he didn't wear it to make him look mean, but because it made him feel handsome. I'll take it off when I'm good and ready, said Carter. Maybe not at all. I don't see what they got against my mustache. They afraid I'm going to scare somebody? No, they're afraid you got fleas in it, hooted one of Giardello's trainers. Ruben felt he won the bout. If only I could make him fall just once. That's what made the difference. I won it clear, at least nine to six. I had him on the hook, but let him get off. He's cagey and can take a punch. Post-fight, Giardello would exclaim, He fought my fight and didn't press as much as I expected. He didn't fight inside and that's what made it easy for me. That had a lot to do with it. This was Giardello's first title defense. After the weigh-in, they dubbed Giardello the underdog. Carter's supreme confidence in himself and physical sharpness changed people's mind on the new champion and was now the 10 to 11 underdog before it was 7 to 5 for the champ. On December the 14th, 1964, the Hurricane and champion Joey Giardello would face off in Philadelphia with a stadium packed with 6,000 people in the conventional hall. It was Giardello's 127th professional fight winning a total of 97 and losing 22 and as history told it the Hurricanes one and only shot at the title. Ron Lipton a former sparring partner of Reuben Hurricane Carter thought Hurricane should have won. Even though he's in the minor when he talks to other people about this Hurricane opened cuts, puffed up Giardello's eyes while the challenger remained handsome as ever. There's a whole debate about the movie starring Denzel Washington and how they portrayed the fight with Giardello. Ron Lipton watched the bout multiple times and I personally made highlights of this matchup. Ruben was the aggressor and the movie wasn't that far from the truth. I've studied Hurricane's boxing style so closely and his career. He had the makings to be a champion but his thuggish style as a youngster, his troubles with the law and his persona as a sinister boxing villain was not what white America wanted as their champion. After the fight Ruben would come to take the defeat in stride in the dressing room. He was calm for the writers but on the inside it really took a lot of his heart and his career as a prize fighter his reign of terror the hurricane would slowly die down to a calmer breeze.